bronze. Got all the way to Ready the semi-final, beating uh, Jan Jorgensen on the way in the quarter-final in a long, long, long match and managed to, to win it at the end. And here we have the umpire, Jan Peterson of Switzerland, and the service judge is Arthur Swartz of USA. But these two players uh, really play some wonderful matches and if we go on to Wang Wing Ki, he had a, a wonderful, wonderful, fantastic win in 2011 at the Denmark Open where he lost the quarterfinal to Sho Sasaki from Japan but on the way he beat the mighty Lin Dan of China. The person who has won two Olympic golds and five world championships he managed to beat in three games, which was a fantastic win back in 2011. Wang Wing Ki to serve. Laval, play. Service order. Good drive cross court here. Wang Chen Min. Nice counter-attacking. So we will have a match of contrasting styles here. We have the retrieving, the hard fighting, good defending Chen Min of Vietnam, and then the attacking aggressive Wang Wing Ki, as we see here from Hong Kong. So it's really to see who's got the day, who's got the ability to play the winners. Can Chen Min keep Wang Wing Ki from playing the winners? That will be very important in this match. Min is actually 10-time national champion in, in Vietnam and won the Thailand Open 2009. Got to the quarter-final at the World Championships in London. He lost to Peter Gade in a long match again. He won the 2012 Vietnam Open and won the Chinese Taipei Open as well in 2012. And as I said earlier, he's the defending champion of this tournament, the US Open. So normally when you play Chen Min, you really have to wear your patience hat. You have to work very hard to find the right opportunities to play the winners and here very very fine example what an angle that Wang Winky found and play that cross court smash really well played and a good start for the Hong Kong player is 4-1 up in here really really nice looked like he was going to lift it but had already made up his mind disguised it well played the block shot yeah. I know it's very very early days and obviously what I'm saying here is uh, a little bit of a, a risky statement but Wang Wing Ki really have to watch out, not taking too many chances. And it's also showing that he is concerned for the physical aspect of this match. Knowing when he plays a player like Chen Min, he's got to conserve as much energy as possible for his attacks. And therefore, he's 
more likely to take chances and hoping that he will get some easy winners as well. Let's see if that's all coming true or not. This is definitely a rally that suits Chen Min really well. And eventually, this block mistake from Wang Wen Ki. And suddenly, Chen Min is up 5 4, being 4 1 down. Chinese and English, like most young people, 20 years of age, loves watching movies and reading. But something very interesting, he likes to play the piano, which is uh, not something we usually see in badminton, so uh, I'd love to hear that one day. His international debut was in 2005 as a junior, and he entered the national team just after that in 2006. And his big idol of all idols is Taufik Hidayat of Indonesia. Yeah, that was almost going out in the baseline, that smash. It came too flat, but stayed in. Slow on that one. Chen Min, he could have killed it at the net. I think he was a little bit slow. Out of the blocks. Oh, once again, a rally that suits him really well. He's, between the two players, the most physically strong of the two. But I must say, he's also more tiny, smaller, haven't got that much weight to carry. Where Wang Wing Ki is a much heavier player. He's 180, 74 kilos. Where Chen Ming is only 169 and only 60 kilos. So a lot, lot lighter player. The guy from Vietnam, a lot less to carry. Seven all. Nothing between the players, seven all. Ah! It's smashed down the line once again. And the slide shot opening up for that beautiful cross court smash. Really well played. Wonderful setup. The first smash. The slice is coming here, beautiful. Eight, and look at that cross court, how he's leaping in the air, round the head, playing it cross. No way to retrieve that one. <laughs> yeah, some good points here for Wong Winky. Nine, seven.
Two very good attacking points. out well left so three good points in a row here seven all and suddenly ten seven an opportunity to go into the mid game interval with a healthy lead Block shot by Wang Ming Ki. Very nice play. And into the mid game interval here with a good lead. Four points, 11 7 up. And so far, playing a very good game here. That one there, nice and easy. The umpire, Mr. Ford Peterson one, of Switzerland, one, watching seconds. closely, and after 10 minutes, it's 11 7. Wong Wing Ki, number six seed, up against the number one seed defending champion Chen Min of Vietnam. Eleven seven. Play. I believe that was good even watching from up here. Eight, Unlucky for Wong Wing Ki. He should have uh, made the better of that one. But Chen Min got it back. from that forehand side. 12-9. That one there coming now. That's the beauty. So it was an important point for Wong Yu Ki. 12-9. 10 Min back and almost back. Ten, twelve. Well, it would be interesting to see if uh, Wang Wing Ki can last the pace and the pressure, keep the attacking going all the time without getting tired, and then eventually Jian Min getting through on sheer determination, 
good defense and keeping his opponent on court for as long as possible. Good attack from the round ahead here. 11, 12. And that's obviously something I would like to see as a former men's singles player, that Chen Min is also not only defending and retrieving and waiting for whatever the opponent is throwing at him, but also going in on some counter-attacking and scoring points himself, which is something he needs to, to learn to really get up there in, to the very top of the world. He cannot only rely on retrieving and, and playing his opponent around all the time. He's got to score points himself as well. Good attacking lift. Got it higher than net. Oh. 13, 12. That will be interesting to hear what Wang Wing Ki is talking to his coach Wang Chen about. Former international player from China, moved to Hong Kong later in her career. And played some wonderful matches and won a lot of tournaments all over the world. Oh. Now, good, good attack here by Chen Min. Nice angle he's creating on this one here. Suddenly, being 12-9 down now, up 14-12. So it's five points in a row. Very important for Chen Min here. He wants to retain his title from last year. His first set it can be very important. I personally think that Wang Wing Ki really needs to win this first game. I don't think he can last this attacking play for three solid games, let's say more than an hour, where he's attacking and attacking all the time. So obviously he would love to win this first game and see if he can finish the match in two. Yeah. Go back to all square, 14 all. Look at this, so effortless, really nice. Ah! It's out, call out. Definitely out. Ken Min wanted it to be in, but uh, I totally agree with the, uh, the Lions person on this one. It was a good call. Suddenly, Wang Wing Ki scoring four points in a row here, being 12 14 down now, 16 14 up. It's really a bit of a roller coaster, this one. 15 16. It was the lift that did the damage. 16 all. Very good attacking lift from Jen Min. 
really nice. This one here. No, it's not. Here it comes. That's the one. Look at how much under pressure Wang Wing Ki is. Good lift. for Chen Min here. He's not having had the best year 2014. He's played eight tournaments, but uh, only in the Korean Open Super Series. He managed to get to the quarterfinal where he lost to Chen Long from China. But apart from that, he's lost first or second round in every single tournament he has played. Apart from winning his home, home tournament, the Vietnam International Challenge. Otherwise, he's been struggling a bit on the international circuit this year. It's so important for him to get back to the winning streak. Book only two points away for from securing this all important first game. Yeah, good to see some attack. But that lift cross court. Too low, too flat. Too short, too everything. Right into the forehand of Wang Wing Ki was not a good option to play. How important it is. But that's what he's very good doing, Wang Wing Ki, I think, getting around it on that around the head shot, playing the smashes down the line or the cross court smashes. He's really very dangerous from that position on the court. And Chen Min have to really seriously consider whether he should opt not to play that corner too much. this point we'll have game point next yeah, that's a beauty. once again that's in seen from up here I think the linesman is right and it's called in and the umpire doesn't want to overrule Chen Min is asking, but Thank you. Mr. Peterson of Switzerland is very firm in his decision, doesn't want to change it, agrees with his lines person. And here we've got it, slow motion. Yeah, he's plumb on the line. So game point for Hong Wing Ki. Down the line. 
good lift. And now Chen Ming is in trouble. Got out of it. Uh, beautiful net play here by Wang Wingi setting up his first game winning 21 19. First game won by Wang Wingi. And here we got confirmation again. In 23 minutes, this first game goes to Wang Wingi of Hong Kong, number six seed up against the defending champion from Vietnam, winning 21-19. We have some highlights. I think it's uh, actually, yeah, uh, that's the game point. Look at how tight that's played. Really nice, tight spinning net shot. And that's where Wang Wing Ki is good. That flat exchange is always waiting, lurking for that opportunity to attack. calling 20 seconds players have to get ready okay. after the interval Like the, the roles are a little bit reversed here because now Chen Min have to watch out for the length of his shots. It's not so easy for him to def defend, but on the other hand, it's not so easy for Wang Wing Ki to attack when he's playing against the drift. So uh, it's a little bit of a disadvantage for both of the players. So who is getting best out of that situation? We will see in the next 20 minutes or so. Surely, I think it was an energy boost for Wang Wing Ki to win this first game. Min has totally settled for trying to outrun his opponent, just keep him on court for as long as possible, long, grueling uh, rallies here. I think this is what we see now. We'll keep coming. I think we will see many more of these rallies in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, almost got that one back. Good smash, good attack to the body. I won't win key. Has to change the shuttle. All agree, which is nice. Doesn't have to argue that. 
see so often in these international matches where the two players argue whether they should change the shuttle or not. Three, and the umpire has one. to intervene and say, oh, this is good or this is not good. Nice to see we don't have this kind of disagreement here. Got to get more out of this situation like that. Had a great opportunity for that. Forehand, he guessed it well. He didn't really get much out of it. He's got to learn to be sharper on shots like that. Bad luck, Four, really bad three. luck for Wong Winky. Such a good smash, getting high up there, really punching it. And it's just a few centimeters out that sideline. Really bad luck. Attacking is really letting him down on this one as well. Read it well, had the opportunity, and played it straight into that tape at the top of the net. But I don't think that the skies and uh, the pace and power of that shot would have done the damage anyway. So, again, once again, I think he's got to learn to be sharper. Bad decision by Wong Ki to play that cross court drop shot. Not really the best decision. The shuttle travels too long, too slow, and it's too easy for his opponent to attack it and play that beautiful spinning tight net shot after that. Still nothing between oh. the players, it's six all. And somehow I think the uh, the match would have a different complexion. Should Chen Min have won the first game. But uh, as I say, I think it's given extra energy to Wong Min Ki. Knowing that he's got the first game under his belt, he can find the resources to fight, and stay in the match here and possibly win the second Seven, game as well. Six. Smash, body smash. Oh, that's really well controlled. Eight, six. Oh, Winky really hoped that was going long on the baseline, but uh, well kept in. 
by his opponent. This one here under pressure, but very nice length. from Chen Min is really too slow Seven, that one here nine. look at how easy it is for Wong Wing Ki to leap in the air smash it straight down the line not under pressure pace wise at all too slow a shot Interesting to see who's coming best out of this rally. I must say, in my book, it suits Chen Min the best, but let's see. Oh, what a backhand! What a nice, nice backhand to play. Under pressure, small slice, cross court. Look at that, beautifully played. players allowed to tell down despite the fact that the mid game interval is not far from here just a few points seen that drop shot on many occasions from Chen Min. But I must say that, uh, you know, looking at it here, I think that shot is simply, for this level of badminton, it's, it's, it's not good enough. Oh, what a nice disguise. But it's that drop shot from the around the heads 
position cross court is very slow and it gives the opponent so many opportunities to play whatever shot he wants to play and again something i think he, he needs to work on speed up because it's really giving all opportunities to his opponent when he's playing a shot like that it's too slow too not sharp enough into the mid-game interval with the smallest margins, 11-10 for the defending champion, seeded number one in this tournament, Yuyin Chenming. <laughs> and the match duration so far is 39 minutes. I think we aim for a long match should this go into three games. And the confirmation so far. Board one, 20 21, seconds. 19. Board one, 20 seconds. In 10, 11. That's slow. That's really slow once again. Doesn't achieve anything. And well left by Wang Wing Ki. Really well left on that sideline. Not easy to judge. here by Chen Min, that body smash, one of the first in this match, good decision. this be a small decisive gap in this second game for the Vietnamese 14 11 up three points forehand side forced the lift this one here beautifully played here we've got the lift good opportunity but he missed it possibly should have opted for the power smash down the line I think and then a possible follow-up on that
pitch to the world today. It's right in the corner, almost hitting both lines, the sideline and the baseline at the same time. But that is a beautiful play, a good shot. Look at that. Even for me, sitting up here, almost right behind the line, that's hard to see. Uh, but he looks out and uh, on the slow motion pictures here. Once again, good judgment by the lines, linesman here. So now it's a four point gap, 16-12. Should be decisive, but you never know. We smash down the line. to take that cross-court smash. 13, but it worked 16. out. I think he was lucky on that one. It would have gone out on that baseline. I'm very certain of it. And so is Wang Wing Ki. Look at that. Oh, you don't see it, but his, his action is showing that that was definitely going out of the baseline, but he touched it on the way. It's funny, every time I watch uh, Chen Min play, his matches, I'm always prepared for minimum an hour and 20 minutes, 18, and I 13. think this will be the same. 18-13 up in this third game. In my book, it must be decisive. It's a decisive lead. Game point has arrived. Seven in total, 2013. Thank you. To mark the floor. And the hand on the floor, and obviously you have to be very careful. You're not slipping. Game point, 13. In the sweat. Courts can become very slippery. Game. Uh, cleverly done by uh, Wang Winky not to fight too much at the end five. here. It was inevitable. And he's got to conserve off. energy for the coming third game. And here we got it. confirmation. 48 minutes, as I say. I expect at least 120, uh, sorry, uh, an hour and 20 minutes when I see uh, Jen Min play. And uh, we are on our way 
And ah. here we have the confirmation. 19, 21, 21, 13. Oh. That beautiful backhand slice by Wong Wing Ki. Uh, called out. Uh, that's a beautiful follow up we just saw. Uh, don't contest it. That's clever. Chances of catching up would have been very slim. So far, no signs of uh, Chen Min slowing down despite his 31 years of age. Still very fit. Forward one, 20 seconds. And his Forward game one, plan is clear. Seconds. Completely outlasting his opponents. That's what he's trying to do. And it takes a long time and it takes a lot of energy on his side. And that's, I think, is also one of the reasons why he's not winning a lot of tournaments. On the way, he would be a very difficult player to play. You would hate to play him when he's fresh and ready. You know he's got very good running abilities. Should you win against him, it's really good. Should you not, I think he has used so much energy on winning that he will lose the, the next match coming up. So I think in many ways it's, it's a good style he's playing, but also on the other hand, I think it's damaging him that he's not winning a lot of, that, a lot of tournaments due to the fact that he's using so much energy on the way towards the final stages of the tournament. Sharper, much sharper, good shot there. Yeah. And this time, Wong Wing Ki did not get away with that sliced cross court backhand. That's what we saw in the second game. Shots like that in of that Three. end of the court, no. and uh, Wong Wing Ki is obviously hoping too much. It's way, way in. Had a few opportunities on the way in this rally, Wong Wing Ki, to, to finish it. Uh, didn't get it done, and I think that's probably a sign of, you know, a little bit of fatigue. Service over. One, three. Takes from the defending champion. One on the baseline, one on the sideline. court as so many players would do Three, oh. on an attack and 
follow up here. But that one down the line here, that is really well played. happens almost all the time. When you break a string, you also make a mistake. The rackets of today are really highly strong, very, very high tension. That's a good attack of the net there. A good change. Five, three. Good to see. smash again good follow up he almost did not finish it Had great opportunity on the first but Wang Wing Ki got it back three. that one here he got back he should have won on the first one Take it worked out. Four, six. String. This time, not a mistake. It was worth it. That's where Wang Wing Ki is really good. That one there. Loves to play these flat exchanges. A5 important in this third game for him. Down the line. That's what I like to see. 
like to see that smash down the line being used a bit more Six, and the follow-up. Had he gone cross-court on that one, it would have been very difficult and a long way to run on that diagonal to get it. Another string was gone. But seeing his racket from here, it looks okay. Nine, six. And once again, maintaining the lead at three points. Final are from four different nations Hong Kong, Vietnam, Chinese, Taipei, and Thailand. So good to see. Good spread of nations. the deciding shot rally in this match. That was a beautiful cross-court net shot. Played by Chen Min from Vietnam, number one seed. And I'm sure we'll have it very shortly. Here it comes. Look at that. That is really tight. It's a chance to take who dares wins, and I think that could uh, possibly open up the one, deciding gap one, to win this match. 11 6 up, five points. No doubt that Wang Wing Key really has to dig deep now. He's got to find some answers, and uh, he's got to find the strength to keep attacking because that's the way he's going to win. His really good attack have to pr prove that 11, he can six. come through in this match and he's got to have the energy to play it. And has he got it? The answer we will see in about 10 minutes' time. Play. Played about an hour and five minutes now. Oh, That's what I mean. That's what... Uh, one Winky have to do, he's got to try to find the answers playing his massive smash. Service over. That's cleverly played by Jenny. Well, seven. Good return of serve. She's got to watch out Ladies for the drift. Please give a warm welcome to the semi finalists of the mixed doubles at the 2014 Yonex Southern County Community College U.S. Open Championships, part of the BWF Grand Prix Gold Series. Oh, that's unlucky. 
if you look at it from a Hong Kong perspective. Very nice counter-attacking defensive shot there, but that is unlucky all the way up on the tape. Decided not to go over. The semi-finalists of the mixed doubles are Mohamed Rijal and Vita Marissa of Indonesia. And Vizali Durkin and Nina Vizlova of Russia. The umpire is Philip Ayanshi of the USA. Straight, yes. And a good follow up. Really good to see. Not going cross court, opening up the court again. Good attacking straight down the line. That is a beauty. But that smash there and the follow up. Textbook. Try to find some answers, got to try to close the gap a bit. At least another two points now will do really nicely on his account. Yeah, nice, sharp shot. A shot we haven't seen a lot from that forehand side. Really good slice shot, very fast, very crisp. Why not try one more, yes. smash that's just keeping it down not really trying to go for a big winner there that's better yeah. and that's much much better but it takes energy oh that's good that is really good. That's one of the few times we've seen Chen Min really securing a point from the front of the court here at the net. Very nice, very fast. Good push. Good follow up. This one here. That's nice. Something we haven't seen very often, and it's a nice change and a good time to do it. Play shots like that with very, very great quality.
out here is lucky to go away with that one flat lift crossing the center of the court first 16, one okay but that one there very lucky to get away with that Second time, a very good smash down the line. Chen Min is smoking hot here, really playing well. At the end of this third game, third and deciding game. Now 17-12 up, five points advantage. by the key there. This one here, that's nice. I think he was back in control almost, but he missed that one, that defensive shot. Let him down, the touch really let him down on that one. So it looks like that the bronze medal winner Thank from you. the World Championship in 2013 looks to come through here in this tough three-game match. Having a very commanding lead of 18-12. Of playing that across the, the body proved once again to be a good shot. Nice to see he's prepared to take that kind of chances this late in the match. It's amazing what confidence can do to a player suddenly having a good lead 20, and now all the shots 20. are coming out and they're working very well, beautifully. Yeah, very nice shot. So, match point has arrived, 2013. Good length. Once again, that cross court smash. Yeah, he's not going to win that one. Nicely played by Wang Wing Ki. 14 20. So, one match point saved. But he's still having a whole host of them. Six in total still left. And there he comes. Second time for Vasking. Very, very good match played by 
10 men of Vietnam. So the defending champion still on track to retain his title here at the US Open. Good smash down the line. Played really some good quality badminton at the end of this third game. As I said earlier, it's amazing what confidence can do to you when you suddenly feel it's going your way. You're opening up and you're playing proper, really good shots. And here we got the confirmation. A little bit disappointed we didn't get one hour and 20 minutes. We only got one hour and 14 minutes. And we see Nguyen Chen Min from Vietnam, the defending champion, seeded number one here, winning against Wang Wing Ki, number six seed, 19-21, 21-13, 21-14. schedule of this afternoon three matches played women's doubles men's doubles men's singles we've just seen the defending champion from Vietnam winning in three grueling sets and we have the women's singles coming up now